What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here and today I'm gonna show you how to do this. Stay tuned All right, peeps, so today we're going to be talking about Mr. Crayfish's construction mod. Now, you may have seen, I've been doing a couple of building tutorials with modded stuff and things, and, oh, I didn't even see I had this whole thing on the back. Holy crap, oh, I didn't even notice that. So I've been doing some stuff and things with the uh, modded creative building, and this is a mod I think we're going to put in the pack. I wanted to ha hang out and show you guys it, so let's go ahead and check it out. And as you saw in the uh, intro there, I went ahead and I, I built this entire building with a push of a single button. Pretty unbelievable and pretty rad. So let's take a look at the items that are in it, and there really aren't a lot. Mr. Crayfish has like, what is that? Uh, three, six, nine, ten items. So your construction block, your planning table, hard hat, blueprint, pencil tool, and a few different types of hammers. So here you can see the different items, weights that you're gonna craft these items. Construction block is four oak wood, one oak plank, and four diamonds. Your planning table is four oak wood planks, a crafting table, and two stone. Your blueprint's a three by three of paper, and your diamond hammer, it's basically like a, a pick with a little squirrely guy on this end there to squirt now. So that's how you craft basically all the items. So we have our hard hat here. I wanted to show you this. So we go ahead and put it on. It doesn't seem to do anything. I do believe it's like a donator's only reward type item. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and, oh, it looks like you can't pick it up. Oh, there we go. We're squirted in there. So the pencil tool is kind of interesting. Something I haven't played around with a huge amount, but what it's used for is basically to copy your building. So if you have a building, or let me show you here. If we go ahead and we right click on the ground, like say on this corner, you right click there over there. You can see you can now save your selection by holding shift and pressing right click. And so this is what you're gonna use, for instance, to do something like this. Like we would maybe go here and then we would fly up around. You'd have to probably set a block in this case, like up in the air. But for now, we'd just like go over here like so. And then that would like copy. It would make the selection the entire building and then we could copy it. Um, now the builds go into a text file. They go into a folder called buildings in the mod folder. Um, and it's a little bit wonky right now. See, I'm running this mod in 1710. It's actually Mr. Craze for 172. Um, there is a version for 1.6.4, and there are some like already made prefab Mr. Crayfish's mod uh, packs for. There's like a medieval building pack and a village building pack or something like that. There doesn't seem to be like official building packs for the 172 release. And then the builds for 164 to 172, they don't port. Like you can't use 164s and 172s and likewise. So they have some pre-made stuff on the site and I'll list it in the description for you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll talk a little bit more about how the blueprints work at the end here. So, all right, so you got your planning table right here. Now, if you're not in creative mode, this is gonna use ink in order to draw patterns onto these blueprints. You can see I already made one for a modern house. Um, and I downloaded these off their site. So here's our lodge. There's the modern house. We've got the blacksmith's hut. And I think that's all I got. Oh no, medium cabin. Let's go ahead and grab that medium cabin guy. Yeah, that's all the four that I downloaded. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. So let's break that guy. Let me go ahead and grab another construction block real quick. And then over here, let's do another one of these blacksmith huts just so you can kind of see what's going on. So we're gonna got a blacksmith hut. We're gonna squirt that into here. Now here's where you can see the materials that you're you're gonna need. Now if you're in uh, survival, you're gonna need to put these materials into this block um, in order to get this to build. So that way you can click on it, you can see the materials that you need and you can put them in there before you start building it. So under settings here, we can change a few different things. We can turn to the render outline on or off. We can change the color of the render outline. We can make it a partial render outline so you can only kind of see the top of it. Um, and let me see here. Oh yeah, we have the offset. So we can move this to the left, to the right. We can move it forward, which is away or back, which is toward us. Um, and that's kind of nice. You can kind of, you know, get exactly where you want it. Let's move it over right here. All right, bam. So uh, now let's go ahead and let me see here. I guess it gives you multiple pages. I didn't even notice that. It gives you multiple pages if there's multiple pages of items. All right, sweet. So if we hit start, bam, instantaneously, this goes ahead and builds that entire structure for us. Now, if we take a look at how it kind of intersected with the land here, it's a little bit wonky. It's a little bit, yeah, it got constructed. It's a little bit wacky, like all this grass is still left here. Kind of cool, glitchy grass. Um, but yeah, that's basically how it works. And it looks like it faced our chest in a little bit of an odd manner. But other than that, I mean, 
It's pretty rad, right? Just went ahead and, and built it right into the land anywhere that we want. And being able to build something like that just a, as a one click, it's pretty unbelievably cool. So um, it, again, if you normally would do it, you'd hit start and then you have to use the diamond hammer to go ahead and hit the block and then it will build the uh, thing layer by layer for you. It's pretty rad. So uh, the blueprints do have a durability. I think it's four or five uses. I do believe four, but uh, four uses per black her blueprint so pretty rad pretty rad so all right check this out man let's go ahead and come over here let's uh, take our 10 by 10 modern house bam instantaneous man is that not the best thing you ever saw so um a lot of these designs that are on the site oh let's go ahead and uh let's turn that off so a lot of these designs that are on the site they're prefab that are made by players uh, they're not actually part of the like the official mod or anything like that so um i think from what i saw on there you know you're gonna get a few that have like this i do believe that's a block that was used to capture so like this you've got your capture blocks that have been left um uh, because they'd have to be they'd have to be in there uh, when you were using the um the pencil tool in order to capture the build um so yeah you might see some stuff and things like that going on all right, let's go ahead and head over here. I, I haven't built all of these yet, so I want to check them out with you. We did the blacksmith hut. We did the 10 by 10 house. Let's go ahead and do this lodge thing. Oh my God, no, we're killing a horse. No, Kevin, save him, save him. Oh, I saved you, man. Oh, no, you didn't, Kevin, no, emergency, double emergency. Oh my gosh, we can't let this guy die. I mean, that's not cool. No, I know, buddy. Come here. Let's go. Squirt out of there. Can you can you come over here? We gotta save him, guys. I know it's uh I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Yep, get out of there, buddy. You don't need to be around the construction site. It's just it's not it's not good. Alright, so let's go ahead and fix the house up. Bam. We fixed it. Alright, cool. We'll pop that guy out of here. And then take a look at kind of how this guy works. Got a little button y door. Oh look at this little house, not bad. Not a bad little house. Got a little upper deck on the upper floor. It's kinda humongous. This is quite a structure you've got here. It's very long. Uh, All right, so, and then we have one more of these guys to build. Let's check it out. Let's maybe squirt this guy over here back by our original blacksmith's house. So we'll pop that guy down there. We had, what was it, the medium cabin? All right, so you can see the offsets are a little bit wacky for this. Let's go ahead into the settings. Let's go to the offset. Let's go right a little bit and then down. I kind of can't tell, which is great. It's great that they have that outline. You can see, yeah, let's go ahead and move it up one block. Up, and then let's go ahead and build it. Bam! All right, so like, you know, now if you were playing and, uh, you know, you're doing your creative, you go ahead and grab some blocks, start filling in underneath, you know, fixing it up a little bit like that. Let's go ahead and go inside and check this building out too. See kind of how it looks. Now, now, when you do these, nice, man. Just a desk. That's all you need, man. Just a desk where you can record your YouTube videos. All right, so when you're on the site and you're downloading the mods or downloading the structures, pardon me, um, what you're going to need to do is you you select the structure. And it's going to give you a text file. You take that text file, you copy it, you make a new text file on your desktop, for instance, and open it, paste it in there. Give it a name like 10 by 10 house or lodge or medium cabin, and then go ahead and save that. Then that goes into the mods uh, buildings folder. Now, I do recommend that when you do this, each time you put a new building in, you have to actually try to reload the mod. Um, some of the buildings didn't seem to work. So I would go ahead and grab like say 10 of them at once, and then I would try to load the mod up and it wouldn't load. I went and did some error checking. I pulled them out one at a time, and then eventually started putting in one by one. Some of them seemed to make it so that the mod wouldn't work. So if you are on the website and you're downloading and you're having some troubles with the mod, that might be why. Some of these structures seem to be a little wacky and some aren't. So um, yeah. Like I said, the pack's going to be inside a build pack when build pack's available. Probably that will be out in the next couple days. And if you're interested, there'll be a link in the down there. But that's all I have to say today about the Mr. Crayfish Construction Mod. I hope you guys had fun hanging out. I think it's super cool that you can build a building with just one click. Super fun. But yeah, if you liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite the videos you see fit. And may the stuff and things be with you.